When you first walk into a space like this, you'll realize that it's very clean and attractive and it's a, it's a beautiful work environment. But what's going on sort of behind the scenes in the light fixtures and in the controls is really a digital network working to make sure everything works in harmony. I'm Kaylin Rothhouse, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am, creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his chief operating officer. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional and most definitely be fabulous. The new building Mark's purchased for his company Brandstar has its challenges. He needs to move 135 employees out of the old building that was 20,000 square feet into the new building that's only 11,000 square feet and keep everyone in the new smaller space comfortable and more productive. What I visualize for the space is to have an open collaborative work environment, but really a space that feels like home because we spend more time at work than we do in any other environment. So I wanted people that, that come to work to feel really comfortable in the everyday uh, job that they do. Now the right design for lighting will be a big part of that vision. So that's what we're doing today, designing perfect lighting for a collaborative workspace. I think lighting as part of the vision is, is really, really important because it sets the ambiance for the space. It really creates the feeling in the environment. And so having the proper lighting to do the work is important. But first things first, it all starts with the ceiling grid because that's where the light fixtures are hung and the sound issues are addressed. So in designing this ceiling, my thought was noise reduction first and then how do I light this space? I definitely want to use LED linear light fixtures for uniform brightness and energy savings, as well as fun elements of design like decorative cloud formations and drop ceilings to address sound and aesthetics. The employees who will be working here are coming from a space which was poorly lit with fluorescent lighting. So I think bringing in a lot of daylight and mixing that with LED and more efficient lighting systems will make for more productive employees. I met with Sean Brown from Armstrong today their principal scientist. He put me at ease for the design decisions I've already made. It's really a kind of situation where form meets function in such a beautiful way because I really wanted to utilize these Armstrong decorative products. At Armstrong, we work closely with architectural leaders, designers, facility managers, building owners, occupants, all people that touch the, the built environment. So we're constantly hearing about design challenges. So uh, if an architect says that they have a need for a certain type of lighting integration, then we will turn that into product development for our ceiling tile products, our suspension systems. We have suspension systems that allow for easy lighting integration. We have cloud construction that comes in a kit. You can't see the hanger wires. It literally looks like a suspended um, absorptive ceiling cloud. After talking with Sean, we're going to go with Armstrong's Tech Zone ceiling. It will allow us to integrate the lighting as well as all the other elements we're going to need for the building. With the Armstrong ceilings underway, I'm now ready to turn to the specific challenge that awaits us in lighting. The people I've found to help me bring state-of-the-art products that definitely shed light on the challenge. For now, we are turning our attention to the interior building lights. My challenge is to create lighting within the building that will improve both the quality of the workspace and be energy efficient. One of the biggest challenges presented to me by my client was that he needs to fit 54 employees into one bullpen area. To properly light that space is a challenge. So, you know, it's, it's I really need to find the right product to light the space properly. There's a lot to consider, and I wanted to bring in the right people with the expertise to make sure I was creating an environment that will not only be well lit, but will promote productivity. So I've brought in lighting designer Alejandro Vargas from Miami Lighting Design and Associates and Tom Schumacher from Acuity Brands Lighting so that I can outline the design concept and the lighting challenges. I have a couple areas that I want to talk to you guys about. We have the bullpen area, which is going to seat 54 employees in cubicles. Mm -hmm. I also have private offices. Each office has a window, so there is a lot of natural daylight that comes in. The offices have glass fronts to allow that natural daylight to come into the bullpen, but these bullpen areas 
are gonna be a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. So we need to address and be careful about how we like these spaces so employees can have a more efficient and productive workspace. Right. The other area of concern for me are these meetings, meeting areas and, and boardrooms. Mm -hmm. In these spaces, you know, they're a little bit more formal. We'll have clients from, you know, other companies coming to see us. And so these spaces we need to light and make sure that they don't interfere with our technology. We have a lot of projection screens um, and things that could interfere with, the light could interfere right. with the technology. When I saw Kato design, it was a completely open ceiling. And uh, she had the ideas of putting this uh, drop square ceiling in the different areas of the open office areas. So we have to, work around the lighting around those those ceilings, those drop areas. When you have challenges like this, it brings you unique designs. The product that we're gonna recommend, that I recommend, is gonna be from Mark Architectural. It's a slot fixture. It's designed to go into many Armstrong ceilings, including the tech zone ceiling that you have uh, on this project. I needed a light fixture that worked with the ceiling grid. It needed to be linear, LED, and of course, energy efficient. So seeing how the grid application worked with the light fixture from Acuity Brands, I could see it was a match made for a designer. So this is an LED linear fixture that sits inside of our grid system? Yes, it's all LED. And I mean, we have a couple different areas, like in our flex space here, which is gonna be our social digital room. We have a, sort of a different flexible, modular, movable seating arrangement for these employees. So what do you suggest for these areas? Well, in these open areas, there's a, a recess round product called the Magellan, and that's also from Mark Lighting. It's, it's available in LED as well. The advantage that we have is that it's a round fixture, so it kind of gives the impression that you have a skylight in there and you're letting the outside light in, mm -hmm. and we can control the intensity depending on what type of functions that you're trying to, to uh, hold in that room. Okay, very cool. And what about, what kind of options do you have for the coves? Because Alejandro's talking about changing the lighting mechanism mm -hmm. in the corridor. The cove would be something similar to the other products. In, in fact, you know, going LED, you don't want maintenance, you don't want to change light bulbs mm -hmm. into that cove, it'll be very difficult. So we want to put a high efficiency, high performance LED cove fixture that's going to give you some ambient light and indirect light in there, again addressing non-glare and a path of walkway for people to navigate their environment. Three different lighting requirements for three different areas. I'm really happy with the plan we've come up with. I think every employee wants the same basic things in a workspace. A well-lit environment, the right equipment, and a quiet space for focused work and privacy that allows for collaboration. Sound was a big problem in the old space. Guys, can you keep it down? I can't hear on the phone. Noise reduction is one of the big challenges I face in the new office. My solution is to take as many steps possible to get the best acoustic value in the space. Today I'm meeting with Bill McCann from Dynasound, who's actually going to add noise to the building so we can reduce noise between employees. All right, Bill, so you gotta explain this to me. You're adding noise to reduce noise? What we're actually doing is adding noise to reduce the intelligibility of the conversations that are within the space. It's called sound masking, and it's done with these gadgets that look like little speakers being hung by Dynasound from the Armstrong ceiling grid. Now, I've never used sound masking before, but the idea is interesting and yet so simple. Each Dynasound speaker produces an ambient noise that fills the space to help eliminate distracting sounds to the ear. So, while you can hear sound or conversations happening close to you, any sound happening farther away is masked by the ambient sound emitted by the speakers. How does it work? You're placing them, you know, not in every space to create the noise. It's only in certain areas, so tell me why. Well, what we're trying to do is accomplish is improving the space of, of your typical worker who what we're seeing at his desk. Um, okay. And we want to create a uniform level throughout those areas. I caught up with Kelly Mitten, Dynasound's installer, to find out how many speakers we need. We're installing about 30 to 35 of these speakers, is what we're doing. Uh, so that it goes throughout the whole building. They're in a range from being 15 to 18 foot apart, and we put as many as what it takes to cover the area. Now the ambient noise produced by these speakers creates sort of a hum in the room but its effect on workspace conversations is what makes sound masking so important to employee privacy. By using sound masking within the space, you're effectively tripling the distance from one employee to the next by reducing the distance that a conversation is still intelligible.
I'm now turning my attention to the interior walls and doors of this office building. And the challenge is bringing in natural light, providing an open space, and still allowing privacy for employees. I found the answer in glass partitions. Collaboration and community workspaces is the mandate, but people also really need privacy. I've designed what I believe to be a fabulous glass partition that will provide an open community feel, but also give privacy at the same time. The glass is also designed to add a dramatic decorative impression to the interiors. I've asked to meet with Edward Gaiman and Nino Pena from Carvart. They specialize in creative turnkey architectural glass products. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. I have a lot to show you and a lot to talk about. Kaylin, it's really exciting to be here. Thank you for having us. Carvart Glass is a true creative solutions company out of New York, and they have a lot of experience in taking design ideas and crafting them in glass. So basically, my client had given me a challenge. I'm looking to put a gradient or some sort of diffused color, you know, yeah, something, yeah. something for privacy, okay. so that when an employee is seated, they have the sense of privacy, like they're not in the fishbowl. Gotcha. And when they're standing and walking through the space, they have a little bit more visual. I really loved her design just for the fact that it's very clean, it's very unique, it's very innovative. At the same time, it's uh, she thought about the employees of the company. This area, we have the reception area, the full plan, and we're going to come to the offices here. So I've seen the space, I've carefully listened to Kaylin. We're going to really recommend the right system for her that's going to help her solve all her issues. I can hardly wait to see what Carvart is able to create with my design and for their glass partitions to be delivered. We've been waiting for this glass from Carvart for a very long time. It came all the way from New York. It came and now it's broke. Leviton knows there's a lot that goes into running a home. For over a hundred years, we've been developing solutions that help people save energy, time, and money while enhancing safety. And we've never stopped. Introducing Leviton's home security and automation products, the smart and affordable way to update your home with one button access of security, climate control, lighting, and audio video devices. Leviton's home security and automation family of products combines home management into a seamless experience. Enjoy the flexibility of controlling your home remotely from your phone or tablet anytime, anywhere with no ongoing fees from Leviton. When it comes to automating your home, Leviton's security and automation is the smart choice, giving you more time to enjoy the simpler things in life. Anxiously awaiting the arrival of our custom-made glass partitions from Carvart in New York, so we can get started installing the partitions. Well, the glass arrived, and our forklift began to unload the fragile cargo from the truck. But then, accidents happened. One entire pallet of glass collapsed and shattered. So this end is where it broke? Did it break this way first? No, it collapsed. So now, we've lost four pieces of glass. We have our installers scheduled, and I need to get them working. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get replacement glass, but as always, I'm worried about Mark's timeline. This, no doubt, will set us behind, but we still have plenty of Carvart glass on hand so we can continue to move forward. So now the installation of the glass partitions gets underway. Along the perimeter offices, bullpen area, by design, the glass will separate the individual office spaces and conference room but still bring the natural light in to the center core of the building and a feeling of openness for communication. What's also unique about our system is that there's a one a sleek line of, of extrusion at the top that runs throughout the entire space, so all the offices look uniform. The Carvart glass will also provide that element of privacy for the employees when they're sitting in their office because of where I've placed the gradient on the glass. Kaylin wanted both private and public space to to be in the same spot. We achieved that by having our gradient go up from half the glass so you get that private feel. And then above, while you're walking around throughout this entire space, you have that real open yeah, field, beautiful. natural light coming from all different directions. And I'm really happy with the outcome of the color that's been added to the glass to make the office environment more exciting. The conference room glass has a blue gradient, which makes this room really stand out. While the white gradient is uniform throughout the offices, 
The Great Inn is also a great safety feature so people don't walk into it. So it's painting week at Office Spaces. I've brought in Phoenix Painting to paint the interiors. Phoenix has worked on many large commercial painting projects before. So they understand this scope of work and they understand my needs. I have a lot of detailed painting work to be done and they have experience doing large scale projects so I have faith in them to get the job done. I've dedicated the perimeter of the building to private offices where the windows can bring in the natural daylight. Here, I wanted to treat the whole back wall in an accent color. As you walk by all the offices with the glass fronts, you see a beautiful blue accent wall. I wanted to create that feeling of sameness throughout the building and create a rhythm. The one thing that Kaylin and I are discuss a lot is color, the use of color, and how color affects moods and people, and, and again, it's about balance. You want something that reflects the company in a very vibrant way, but isn't too much, and so that's the one, if, if Kaylin and I discuss anything, it's the use of color. I wanted each office to offer a creative way for the employees to be able to express themselves. So each side wall of the office is first being painted white and then treated with a clear coat on top of that. So it will become a dry erase wall. And so you can just, it's basically it's a dry erase board, but the whole wall is. The whole wall, because you guys, you directed me to be more paperless. That's right. So this way, if you're having a meeting in your office, you can write notes, you can, you know, I mean, we have so many creative types in the company. Yeah, and it's creative, it's collaborative, and yep. it's paperless, yeah. so there you go. Okay. The other wall will have a black chalkboard bubble that you can write on. So on this uh, wall, is the whole wall a chalkboard paint or no. just an area? So there's a little surprise with what we've decided to do with the chalkboard paint. So it's a smaller area, it's okay. not the whole wall. Got it, okay. Yep. But it's a surprise, so then, you can't. Okay. It's actually the graphic symbol for Brandstar's Listen TV logo. So I drew it in AutoCAD, and then Phoenix Painting made a template of the bubble and recreated it on the wall. We're going to be placing television monitors in that black bubble later, but mostly I think the chalkboard bubble will just be a fun way for employees to express themselves. It's good for the environment, and it's a fun way to express creativity, which is what this place is all about. Today I'm meeting with Maxim Construction Group, and I'm going to have them apply three different color schemes to the exterior facade of the building in order for Mark and Carmen to evaluate which color scheme they like best. As the owner of Maxim Construction, Max Sadiq knows all about choosing the right paint for appearance and protection. Well, our company specializes in commercial structures. Uh, we start with the concrete, um, and then we're also specialized in protecting the concrete with coatings such as paint and waterproof. We're here today because the building behind me is getting um, fully renovated and the final touch is to paint the building. So we're helping um, the designer choose the right paint so that the building not only looks beautiful but also is well protected. So what we've done here is looking at the existing architecture of the building, we are applying four different colors for all the four different bands. What we're doing today is actually a very important process in the decision making of the color. It's very important to apply the paint sample to the building, let it fully dry over a 24 hour period so that you can see how it's actually going to look. So I've asked Maxim Construction Group, who's going to be painting the exterior of both buildings, to come out and put the three different color schemes up on the wall for us to discuss. Now, I know you guys wanted to add some color. So then in option A2 here, I've brought in some of the blue that's close to the blue in the logo. So it will really complement the look and the feel of the logo, which would be applied to the top band. First impressions are everything, and when you drive up, what our building says, it's got to say Brand Star. And it is going to do that by the paints we pick and the logo that's on the outside of the building. So it's very exciting. OK, so I'm drawn to number two. Me too. So with the color scheme chosen and approved by Mark and Carmen, we're ready for the Maxim paint team to get started. Definitely the fact that there are stucco reveals between the colors is great because it separates the colors just enough so they each stand on their own. So these buildings are definitely going to stand out.
satisfying when multiple pieces of this puzzle come together, like the contractors with wiring.com are now working with Acuity Light Fixtures and the Armstrong Grid ceilings coming together. And it's fun to see all the different disciplines working together and making everything a reality. What we have going in here in the executive offices is the Armstrong system, the ceiling grid system, which is made specifically for the acuity lights that are going in here. You have these eight foot long tees and these 22 inch tees that create a four inch by eight foot uh, slot for the lights to, to come down into. And it's a, a great system, you know, I guess devised by uh, acuity and Armstrong to accommodate the, the lights. Uh, it's an awesome system. It's got a custom finish to it and it's the first I've seen of it. It's uh, really nice. Yeah, this system will be throughout the building and in your larger bullpen areas, you have your 12 foot high ceiling grid and then the clouds will drop below to help with the acoustics and sound deadening. And again, the acuity lights are throughout and uh, it's a, a great system they have going in here. I think the acuity products, especially the marked lighting fixtures, actually enhanced my vision for the space. It made it so much more beautiful and clean. And the way that these fixtures attach to the ceiling, it's just beautiful and seamless. Now, the Wausau windows that we've installed have helped a lot in keeping our perimeter office spaces cool and filled with natural daylight. But these high-tech gadgets in the Acuity brand's LED lighting fixtures include cutting edge technology known as daylight harvesting, which basically means a sensor measures the amount of daylight coming into the space and automatically adjusts itself. So it's an energy efficient way to keep the proper amount of light in a space so that workers can be productive. These products here will dim down to zero, dim to dark is what we call it, mm -hmm. and allow a lot of flexibility and also incorporating daylight harvesting, which was something else that you talked about with a lot of windows in, uh, on these office areas here. So the daylight harvesting is, is, is kind of a set it and forget it, and it provides you another layer of saving energy for your customer. So because energy efficiency is so important, tell me a little bit about these daylight harvesting sensors. So basically what we want to do is we want to bring in the natural light. Mm -hmm. And we want the natural light to be able to control the amount of light so we don't have too much glare. I don't need my, my LED light fixtures being on full power and full mm -hmm. brightness when I have a lot of daylight coming through the windows. We've matched all of our chips and all the different products. So from fixture to fixture, from family to family, they're all going to be identical in the color temp. And that's going to be really important as you start walking through the space and you want the productivity from your employees mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that we're capitalizing on saving energy without having to do anything. It's going to be all automatic. Nobody has to touch anything for that. When we went to Acuity and looked at all the options that they had for lighting, I was blown away by the, the, the fact that they, they, they do things that I would never even think about. Uh, from the daylight harvesting is an example where uh, as the light gets brighter during the day, the lights automatically adjust to account for that light. And when it gets darker, if you have a, happen to have a rainy day, then all of a sudden the lights come up to try and create that uniform environment, which was really neat. I never thought that something like that existed. Audi Cash from Acuity Brands Lighting also paid us a visit and gave a lot of good insight into how this whole lighting system really works. When you first walk into a space like this, you'll realize that it's very clean and attractive and it's a, it's a beautiful work environment. But what's going on sort of behind the scenes in the light fixtures and in the controls is really a digital network working to make sure everything works in harmony. Throughout the space, there are a myriad of controls used. We have occupancy sensors to detect people in motion. We have daylight sensors to t detect available sunlight. As the, as the sunlight increases, the lights will dim. And manual controls in the wall to allow occupants to dim and control the lights as they see fit. We said that this was going to be a high-tech building, and it starts from the top down. We've only started to install the technology that I've designed for the building. The high-tech equipment we're installing here will no doubt give Mark a much more effective workforce. For me, the unsung heroes behind the installation of all this technology is John Kolodny and his team from Wiring.com. They were the first on the scene, and they will be the last to leave. We could not have installed all of the lighting without them. So the design challenges that we're seeing today and into the near future are really based upon the principles of reduced cost, both from an initial installation standpoint and long-term operating cost. The ability to have a much better work environment, and again, a better work environment is a more productive work environment, and to go green, whether it's for lead certification points or just to help the earth out in general.
stage of construction, when everything we do is very visible and really making a visible difference, we're starting to see how all the design is starting to come together. The chalkboard walls and the dry erase walls really came out well. I think they're not only going to be fun, but they'll be great for collaboration. It's all about making every element of this office functional. The Armstrong ceiling suspension system is installed throughout the building along with all the Acuity Brands lighting. We turn the lights on and they look fantastic. The Acuity Brands lighting LED linears in the bullpen area and the office spaces are really going to make a difference for the employees. Lighting plays a critical role in our productions, but I never thought that lighting would pl play such a large role in our office environments. And with Acuity Lighting, the, the cutting edge technology that they have in their lights and the look and feel of the lights in the office environment was something I never expected to achieve. I have to admit it was a complicated process. It took a lot of coordination, a lot of communication, and a lot of site meetings between me, Armstrong, Acuity Brands Lighting, and Wiring.com. But I think the end result looks really clean and the aesthetic lines are perfect. You know when people walk into a space and it just feels good and they don't know why? That's because of great design. And I think this ceiling just feels good and it does so many other things than just look good. It creates symmetry, it provides intelligent lighting, and it saves energy. Just as lighting is important for everyone, so is the style of the office furniture they'll use. Productivity and comfort for employees extends beyond the brick and mortar. At each step along the way, we make a little more progress in getting all of Mark's employees in here on time. At least, that's what I'm planning for. And architecture. I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> <laughs>